Okay, thanks for stopping it. So this is going to be a review of the ROM that I just installed, which is Android World Order. So as you guys can see, it has the V for Vendetta wallpaper look. Pretty cool. Unlock it by sliding left to right, like I just did there. So this is your home screen, and this is pretty much a stock look. I haven't changed it. At the top, it has the network network signals, and at the bottom, it has your default applications like your phone, text, um, your applications menu has Dolphin, and it also has your app store to the right. I know the video is taking some time to focus but please bear with me. There you go. Alright so that's the bottom. So um, let me get back to the home screen real quick. So like I said that's the home screen and if I hit settings or this button right here it gives me the option for me to either I could go ahead and click on add it's going to give me the options to add shortcuts widgets folders um, wallpapers and you can also change the theme okay now I'm going to click on switcher over here and it gives me the options to add a whole bunch of applications um, window or pages so I could just click on that one. If you guys could take a look at the top, it has how many pages I just added. So it's going to take me a while to get back to the home screen. So here we go. All right. And nope, that's not the home screen. So let me back up here. My finger seemed to be working overdrive, but I'll find it. Uh, I think one more over and we'll get to it. There we go. Alright, so that's the home screen. Alright, another thing we'll check out, of course, is YouTube. It has camera on there and some other features, but let's go ahead and check out YouTube. Now, if you guys could take a look at the keyboard what I'm typing here it is the stock Android keyboard so you know you could jump in the store at any time when I say store I mean the app store and you could customize and get different keyboard if you know if you don't like the, the feel of this one yeah, so let me go ahead and just search for something in here real quick and of course this is my channel Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe too. But um, if I'm just scrolling through here, and it, you know, that's the transition. It gives you like a yin and yang um, type graphic there. And if you guys can see, it's actually playing the ad on my phone, which by default, I mean, the Samsung and Meyer didn't give you that option before. So there we go again, the yin and yang. Now at the top of the screen here it actually has the description of the video which before the phone didn't have that option so it's pretty cool that it's playing with the description at the top and you have all the features you could share um, you could you know add it and search right from off the top of the page right there from where the video is playing so it's another cool feature that I that I saw here Okay, so let me get, go ahead and get back to the menu here, the home screen. Of course, this is Dolphin Browser. And this is the HD browser, so I'm going to open a whole bunch of tabs. Uh, I think I just opened about six tabs, but just to know you guys can surf with tab surfing, which is pretty cool. And let me just go into the settings here so you guys can take a look at the specifications on the ROM. So, 
if you guys can see it has a build number and it says Android World Order that's the new ROM that I just put on here so it's just taking a while to focus but it will focus Uh, any second now I do apologize um, here we go so the build number is Android World Order of course it has the hardware version kernel version and all that but that's the build number so that's how I changed it to this new build that was just released um, November of 2012. All right, if you guys have any questions, of course, feel free to leave a comment. And I'm just pretty much going through the apps right now. Another cool feature is that I could actually hit that button right there at the bottom, and it shows me all the apps that are running. And I'm able to close it out by hitting the X next to the app. So I just close out YouTube, and I'm going to close out all by hitting the top. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.